things are about to get groovy in the medieval times. It's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Army of Darkness, the third and final installment in the Evil Dead Sam Raimi trilogy. So this film is written by Sam Raimi and Ivan Raimi, directed by Sam Raimi of course, and it has Bruce Campbell as the returning character for Ash as well as Ian Amber Crombie in this film too. Ash has to battle an army of the dead and get this book called the Necronomicon so he can return home and get back to his normal life. In my opinion, I really like the original The Evil Dead. It's just a very original and inventive movie. Evil Dead 2, however, I know it's popular. A lot of people enjoy that one, but I didn't care for it. So going into Army of Darkness, I was hoping it would be at least better than Evil Dead 2. And in my opinion, thank goodness it is. I could definitely tell from Army of Darkness that this is probably maybe the higher budgeted of the Evil Dead trilogy because the cinematography looks more brighter this time around. It looks a little more better. Interesting to see Ash in the medieval times and it's not repetitive like the Evil Dead 2. There's actually stuff that happens and the storyline to get you intrigued, to make me have fun. That's what was missing in Evil Dead 2 for me. And yes, you do still get the preposterous things, not as preposterous as Evil Dead 2, but preposterous enough for me to laugh at and for me to have a ton of fun with. So I'm, I'm glad they toned it down, but still managed to make it silly when needed, of course. The storyline I thought was very well written. The direction by Sam Raimi is really good. You get the, Although not as much blood and gore as you're used to seeing in the second and first Evil Dead, there is still some here and there and it's very well handled. Army of Darkness is one of those films in the Evil Dead trilogy that knows exactly what it wants to be. It has a storyline that's simple, but at the same time, it has things for me to keep me interested, things for me to have fun with, and just be, just really be glued into the atmosphere that Sam Raimi really created. The film does have this unnecessary romantic subplot with Bruce Campbell's character Ash and this other girl. That plot wasn't really needed, but luckily it doesn't really overcrowd the main plot. This film definitely isn't in any way one of the greatest films ever made, but it's definitely a fun film. It's a badass, awesome time. That's what Army of Darkness is. And of course, the climax when there's a war going on with Ash and the, all the medieval characters against the dead. That was a badass climax. It was a funny climax as well because while I was having a blast watching it, I was laughing so much watching it as well just because it still manages to keep the cheesy vibe to it. And how the film ends was unexpected. Like Larry, the last few minutes was very unexpected, but it was an epic way to end the trilogy and it made me so happy. Army of Darkness is a fun movie in my opinion. It's better than Evil Dead 2, but I don't think it's quite as good as The Evil Dead. It's still a very fun movie. I had a blast watching it. We watch movies to be entertained, and that's exactly what Army of Darkness did for me. It entertained me. I had fun. It made me satisfied as a movie fan. And, yeah, it was just a very satisfying time. So, Army of Darkness gets three out of four stars. And I'm sure because I said that, Ash would have said, Groovy.